Yo guys, what up? The Blue Gangster here. This video is about the new reveal trailer of Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 4. But the way it looks like and the more I think about it, it I don't think it's gonna be Tenkaichi 4. It's gonna be Dragon Ball Z Budokai Ultimate Tenkaichi 2. I'm just joking. Um, if it really was Tenkaichi 4, why didn't they specifically say or show it? Like the logo and shit. It just said a new battle begins or something. And then a new Budokai Tenkaichi, whatever. And this transition Goku who actually in Budokai Tenkaichi 3 turned into Super Saiyan now with the new animated look turns into Super Saiyan Blue and that basically means that it's not gonna be Tenkaichi 4 but a but a Tenkaichi reboot a completely different game with some familiar elements of course I think, but but it's not gonna be Tenkaichi 4, it's gonna be something different. While I still hope that it is going to be Tenkaichi 4, because no cap, like two nights ago or something, I was thinking about like, what would a Tenkaichi 4 actually look like? So I made a little list, like the obvious stuff first, like the graphics of course, uh, the updated story, updated roster, uh, new mechanics, um, online battle, all of that. Second thing would be the controller layout. The controller layout on, 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 on Tenkaichi 3 was good for what it was. But there is still, there was still room for improvement. Like for example, and I have to, like the, the best way to optimize it is to bring the Rage and Blast franchise in there. Since Rage and Blast is just another version of the Tenkaichi series. It's, it's basically Tenkaichi 2.0. You have the option to, to, to customize your, your buttons. You can, like, I don't know, put block on, on whatever button you want and, and shit like that. That type of stuff. The control, basically change the controller layout the way you want. The way I see it, the original, the original Tenkaichi 3 controller layout is is fine except for one thing the most unused button is is when we talk about like in a PlayStation format is L1 and L1 in my opinion should be should be uh, blocking not circle not circle um, then what is circle then and in Raging Blast they those characters have their unique skills on circle which is a good idea except for the fact that that unique skill is not really unique if they really make it character specific like re very deeply character specific like or or put in a new mechanic I'm fine with that but just just so you remember so L1 will be blocking L2 will be key charge R1 would be jump or ascent and R2 would be descent then square of course attack triangle um, key blast X is approaching and avoiding and whatever and square either a very unique skill or or just a new mechanic. I really like the idea that uh, that um, the the right stick, every every basically every direction of the right stick is a super attack. But but I will do it the Tenkaichi way. So up is up is super one. Left is super two. Down is super three and four is super. Uh, and write the super 4 or uh, you can customize that the way you want and then blocking plus right stick 
uh, up, down, left, right, is 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 this this special this this parking orb basically the sparking orb um, for for like things like instant transmission or barrier, you know that type of stuff. So you hold L1 in, in that case blocking plus uh, direction with the with the right stick to to use th those type of attacks so you have four super attacks sparking warp attacks and then and then one ultimate attack that's basically everything for the controller layout when it comes to like close combat i would still like to keep tenkaichi 3 and now people be like, yeah, but Raging Blast is basically Tank IG3. Nah, the way they handle it, like, Raging Blast started started the wave, and and it's and it's still in in like Xenoverse 2 and shit, where they are like really fluid with with their attacks. But there is like no impact. Back in the Tenkaichi series, you had to really press one button, not just mash square. But then, because of that, you felt every single button you pressed. Like, even without vibration, just visually. And I like, I really would like for that like to come back, you know. Maybe enhance like the, the combo system in general. Because you match like five times square, then you ascend, then you can do it again, and you can you can like mix it with those strong attacks with triangle. Um, maybe have some extension there. Um, but but let's get into the technical stuff later. So um, story mode, they could keep it basically like in in Budokai Tenkaichi 3. Like I grew up with those with those single player games like story mode <clears throat> is to me the most important part of the game but nowadays the this generation like they don't really give a damn about story mode they they couldn't care less all they all they want is good netcode let's play online and and that's it they don't care about story mode but so I think I think the most optimal way would be like a Budokai 3 ish story mode something something in that that type of direction would be fine I guess and then moving on to versus mode where you can still play 5 on 5 because of fighting games now being seen as as tournament games like competitive wise they should be an esports mode yeah i couldn't come up with a better name an esports mode where it's just only three versus three and you can like use no no potaras now into the into the technical stuff um, I would change things like like those were the things I came up with like for example uh, vanishing uh, only costs one bar because I think back then it, it did cost three bars so that so that or or just more than one bar but if it only costs one bar there's like more of this vanishing chain you know where you had to press a circle just at the right frame to to outplay your opponent in that sense um that would be better um that's the point i was making earlier the, the combo reset thing imagine like doing a full combo like square square mesh square till till he like floats away then approach him then mesh square like four times triangle mesh square uh, three times triangle, two times triangle, one times triangle, and what then? Usually you go for the mesh square into down triangle type of stuff. But what if after that, if you if you like punch him and he kind of flies away and you can like vanish behind him to restart the combo? Of course, of course, there, there has to be a risk and the risk would be that this is easily vanishable and then your opponent gets a free combo for that if you go for that route like that's the the only way i could come up with with combo extensions because i don't want to really break 
what's already in Tenkaichi 3 so just an basically an extension of what actually exists there in some type of way then the next thing would be because of because of clashes and struggles and things like in the new game state they removed it and of course we want it back because it's Tenkaichi but instead of like breaking your analog stick or mashing one button I would I would change it I would change it into depending how much key you got for example in Tenkaichi 2 you could um, charge up your your blast it just had more more startup and it did a little bit more damage but I want to to make that more technical in sense of, in a sense of you waste key the more you charge it up before you shoot it and of course the more it's charged the more powerful it is so for example if I if I um, activate or use Kamehameha for three bars and I have seven bars in total and I waste the four bars I have left for charging so it's told in total seven bars and then my opponent does a Gallic gun for three bars only then of course my Kamehameha is going to win I think bar for bar would be the best option because because if you if you like waste everything in in like one shot that is just beam one versus beam two charge up one versus charge up two and then charge up two win that will also visually look freaking dope i think also because there is this this barking if you if you charge up completely the yellow bars turn blue if you're in sparking i call it sparking and you do a beam versus beam then you can waste all of your sparking to bring in your your tag partner so he also shoots a beam you know so it's like two versus one in that sense in that way you we could have things like father son kamehameha father son gallic gun uh gohan and and piccolo uh father and son special beam cannon things like that things like that everything else is inherited from Raiden Blast I, I just recently played it to, to get inspired to see is there something I would like to have in Tenkaichi 4 and there is there is um, things like avoiding that beam like you, you know like they kick it away or whatever that's a good thing and the defensive options you got like four different defensive options one is like avoid like ultra instinct style avoiding then there is uh, the Z counter thing and I already forgot those other options but you got like next to only blocking you got four different type of options you can use while blocking that's very good they should definitely put that in melee clashes when you charge in against an opponent and, and he basically does does the same thing like the key rush you know also bar for bar and there the the visual effect would be not the beam getting like bigger and better but the the character for example goku or vegeta they charge up their key it's in it's in budokai tenkai g3 and in raging blast 2 in budokai tenkai g3 it's only available in in story mode well it, in the tenkaichi 4 mod they they made it uh, yeah they made it available in in versus mode but in the raging blast series uh, you can activate this event when when somebody wants to switch their character and you want and you want to interrupt them then there is this this fast fight qte type of thing where you have to to press the the button that randomly shows up as as soon as possible they should keep that but not i i don't like the idea of of activating it only for interrupting a character switch in uh, tenkaichi 4 the modded version of course of tenkaichi 3 uh the way they did it was was the the best way i think and that's if you if you're not charging in like like the that key dash aura dash thing but if you use the the sparking 
teleportation the sparking teleportation like for move for movement not not the dodging one with the circle but forward x or whatever direction x or maybe there could be a completely different way i don't know yet but i still want that thing in this quick time and went thing that was really dope one more thing a mode like you know those towers and one versus hundred those those extra gaming modes nobody cares about nowadays i would i would like them to keep that in and enhance that for for um online uh, like races in tenkaichi 2 um, there was this one race, I believe you was controlling Krillin, and then you had to find Dr. Jiro, and he was just rushing through the map, and you had to catch him. That type of race, but well, like, in, in the anime, it was when, after the Cell games, when you, when, when we saw what Goku did in Otherworld, he had to win a race to, to get trained by the, what was his name? Dai Mao Dai Kao, something like that, like like the cool dude with the glasses and the beard. He had to race a Kaioshin on on her motorcycle, whatever that was. Then um, quick time events like in Infinite World in the story mode, like for example when Goku and Gohan was in a, a hyperbolic time chamber, and you had this quick time events. That type of stuff would be cool. Um, Dragon Ball Search. Like who finds all seven Dragon Balls first or somehow implement that into actually getting Dragon Balls for the games. The thing that I always wanted in, me and my friends, because we, we started with Budokai and then Tenkaichi released. And since Tenkaichi 1, since Tenkaichi 1, we always did that when we, when we were bored of fighting, we were basically playing hide and seek. Tenkaichi 1 was, was, was like the, the best area, the, the, the best environment for that. And to actually made it a, make it a mini game that you can play online, that would be freaking dope. Like imagine how big, how big those maps in Tenkaichi 4 are gonna be. If they take all of that and implement some, some extended and new mechanics while keeping, keeping the original Tenkaichi three stuff intact that would be everything i need like i don't even need those that mini game type of thing that was just a little extra extra but everything else i was talking about if they simply take tenkaichi 3 copy paste and put in everything i just talked about in there that would be enough for me to actually be the tenkaichi 4 title